cavalcade of Hollywood stars. The Oscars are tonight, and as Bianca mentioned, George is heading out there. He is right to cover that. And one of the most entertaining things to do is guess who will win, especially if you have help from an insider. Well, that insider happens to be ABC's Chris Conley, and he joins us from Los Angeles with a look at the favorites and some possible upsets. Hey, good morning to you, Chris. Good morning to you guys. Behind me, you see the gorgeous red carpet stairway here at the Kodak. Soon it will be lush with luminaries. But let's forget what they're wearing. How did they vote, they and their Academy brethren? You know, there are so many award shows now, Sally Field referred to it as growing like a fungus, that we can f lull ourselves into thinking we'll know how Oscar will decide. But we don't. As William Goldman, the famous screenwriter, once said out here, nobody knows anything. The Oscar votes are all in, but instead of poring over exit polls and network projections, we're still able to imagine an underdog coming out on top. Are you taking the proper dosage of your medication? Does Silver Linings Playbook have a long shot chance to upset the best picture favorite Argo? You don't have a better bad idea than this? You bet. And tonight's big ceremony could feature some technical Oscars early on for Life of Pi. Maybe that ship hasn't sailed yet. <laughs> I'm friends with Sally Field, Naomi Watts is stalking me, it's a pretty great life. <laughs> Having fun with her fellow nominees, Silver Linings' Jennifer Lawrence remains the best actress favorite. Yet some imagine the hard-to-wrap gift of an Oscar for Amour's Emmanuel Riva, who's celebrating her 86th birthday today. And what about Naomi, now a two-time nominee? It feels good because, you know, the first time maybe wasn't a fluke. <laughs> yes, thank you. It's true. Supporting actress, Lincoln Sally Field could derail Anne Hathaway's dream. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. And while Robert De Niro may not seem like an underdog, he could wipe that best supporting actor smile off of Tommy Lee Jones. All five nominees already have an Oscar. It'd be easier to jackhammer Abe Lincoln off of Mount Rushmore than to deface Daniel Day Lewis's chances of taking home Best Actor for playing the 16th president. Now, now, now! Hugh Jackman, a first time nominee for Les Mis, he gets it. If I'm up in the mezzanine, there's a very good chance I won't be winning. Still, no actor playing a U.S. president has ever won an Academy Award. So at the Oscars, who knows? There could be a revolution. <laughs> You know, if Daniel Day-Lewis doesn't win Best Actor, you'll be able to hear the scream that emanates from this place all the way where you are, Bianca.